So I grew up just north of San Antonio in New Braunfels, Texas. So I've been around um, Mexican culture my entire life. In fact, San Antonio and, and New Braunfels, a, a large portion of our population down there is all Hispanic and a lot of my friends are Hispanic. And so I grew up in that culture eating this food. Um, and initially when I left for culinary school, I ran to cook fancy French food and regional Italian. Uh, and then I grew up and realized that the food that I really love to eat and cook and celebrate in the culture that I'm most comfortable around is the one that I grew up around. When I talk to my friends and people I meet about iguana, I kind of tell them that it's just like a really chill atmosphere to come and eat and drink at and it's pretty casual but you still get really authentic Mexican food. You can kind of, kind of feel the, the history from the building. If you look around, there's a lot of exposed brick. Um, it just has a really nice feel to it. Uh, and then a, just kind of a family like environment as far as the staff. The food here reflects a culture that is very deeply rooted in South Texas and Northern Mexico. What was originally called Tejano food, which got translated over into Tex-Mex, um, is a cuisine that ranchers and vaqueros and a lot of Mexicans in South Texas and Northern Mexico made every day of their life. And so we're celebrating that heritage and that food, but we're also traveling a little bit around Mexico and touching on some other places like in Puebla and Oaxaca, and some dishes from the Yucatan. So really it's a celebration of Mexican culture. Some of my favorites would be the quesadilla Oaxaca. The beef barbacoa is like amazing. The blood orange margarita is one of my favorite specialty cocktails that we have. Uh, that just incorporates fresh blood orange as well as blood orange liqueur um, and fresh juices. So it's a little less of hangover if you have uh, one or four of those. One of my favorite drinks is one we just came out with. It's the Cantorito. So we actually got a local artist to make the, the clay mugs that they come in. It's like traditionally they're served in clay mugs. And it's pretty much like a hybrid between a margarita and a paloma. So it's a really popular drink in Mexico. And then we thought we'd introduce it to Oklahoma. We were updating the menu and we felt like it was time to, to put a new face on the restaurant. So we've done some remodel work with chairs and tables and, and repositioned the bar, brought in some nice colors to celebrate the food and the culture. Um, and really kind of give us Iguana 2.0. To me, Iguana Grill encompasses a lot of things that I like personally when I go out. It has a great bar environment if you just want to come in for some drinks, authentic food, the best salsa in town. <laughs> One of the cool things about Iguana is um, our happy hour. We do Monday through Friday. Our uh, happy hour to me has the best uh, prices in town and it's some place that you can afford to eat two or three times a week, so you need to come see us. I would like to invite everybody that has been to Iguana on Western, to everybody that's been to Iguana down on 9th Street, to come back down and visit us, check out the remodel, come celebrate with us, whether it's happy hour and a margarita with friends, uh, a brunch on a Saturday or Sunday, and come, come experience great quality Tejano and Mexican food made from scratch every day. I make good drinks and do cool stuff, and I'm the youngest person on the management staff, so I kind of keep everyone in touch with the uh, young people's culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got the quiet zone. There. Quiet zone, indeed. <laughs> QZ. Yeah. So is that helping out quite a bit, at least making your life a little less stressful? Yeah, we're not having to save people's lives on the <laughs> patio to pretend like they're about to get hit by a train. <laughs> I don't think Ross explained his passion very well. Um, he really loves people, so the next time you come down, just ask Ross to give you a hug. He loves hugs. <laughs>